Hey everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and I am just here today to show you my Week in the Life project that I've just taken part in. Um, so I have used the Make a Pretty Life um, digital kit for Coronavirus 2020. Um, it's only $5 available on the website. So I've done that and printed all the papers. I did them in A4 because I don't have a wide format printer, I just have A4. So I printed all the papers in A4 and I printed all the embellishments on A4 too and cut them out. Um, so that's what I've used. Um, and and here are my layouts. I've chosen to do everything in um, 12 by 12, uh, sorry, 12 by 24, so double layout format. Um, and I printed all my photos really tiny um, and um, have just created one double layout for every day of the week. So um, I've also then done the journaling prompts um, from Ali Edwards um, and also created a big six by eight photo uh, on the back of those journaling uh, prompts as well. And I've put some word art on um, all from that. The word art and the journaling prompts are from Ali Edwards, as are the titles that are on the layouts. Um, so yeah, I used the mixture of four Make A Pretty Life uh, digital kits and um, the Ali Edwards prep party uh, to get all of the products that I've used in here. But otherwise I've added uh, thread and gold splatters and pretty much that's it. Um, so yeah, so this is my Monday spread. Monday was not a good day. Uh, it was a very unhappy day, um, <laughs> very grumpy day. Um, so um, the prompt for Monday was supposed to be loving, um, but I was not loving anything on Monday. Uh, so I switched the prompts around and went for around here. So And then I've written 10 different things about what happened during the day. So that's Monday. And then this is Tuesday, so prompt loving. And I've got my journaling and my big photo there with embracing what's real right now. I really love that sentiment. Um, so I had four, I think it was 40 photos on here. I may, may have axed a couple, but I printed 40. Uh, it was a lot for this page. <laughs> um, the only thing about the Make a Pretty Life kit is that uh, it has some homeschool stuff and obviously that doesn't apply to everyone, um, but uh, I used the same paper on this side but covered up that piece, what well, was there actually, I covered it up with something else. So you can adapt it if um, you're not homeschooling, um, but it works the same thing kind of working from home. So um, okay, so that was Tuesday, that was a lot of photos on Tuesday. I also added... Um, a day of the week on each day because it wasn't clear um, which day was which. So I have got these little tabs from the digital kit that say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, Saturday, Sunday, um, but they're very tiny. So I thought I would add in the words as well. So that is Tuesday. Moving on to Wednesday, I did some pom-pom trim for this one because we all love a bit of pom-pom trim. <laughs> um, I printed each one of the patterns uh, twice onto A4. So um, I had two large pieces per double spread. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see what I've done there and oh, some extra photos down the bottom there. And a lot of these things on here relate to the things that you can see in my photos. So I think uh, it says here, I can't stand it when my craft room gets messy. It gets messy regularly due to the kids being in there. And when I have too much out after a crafting session. I love a good tidy up and a tidy desk makes me very happy. So that relates to that photo there. So you'll see that there's lots of, um, like this is Theo having tantrums. So I've written about Theo having tantrums uh, and this is Max reading. I've written about him restarting every day off with the reading and me getting up in the morning. I get up at 7 a.m. Um, so that is all of my journaling kind of relates to my photos. There are extra photos that don't relate to the journaling, um, but they might just be like, like extra so for example this random stuff where Theo gets everything out of my cupboards drives me mad I've got one two photos for that and this one as well with uh, Max leaving his little toys everywhere um, so um, yeah they all kind of relate definitely relate in some way back to the journaling um, and then just a photo of us and it says the hard parts we've had a tough week with Sophie who's sitting right next to me and <laughs> looking, looking uh, incredulous that I've suggested such a thing. Um, so um, this is Thursday 
um, and you can see I'm getting I'm getting less photos so I obviously went photo crazy on Tuesday with the 40 photos uh, but you don't need that many um, and uh, it was a bit overwhelming to have so many so I thought I would knock it down a bit and have a few less photos um, so this is Thursday two big chunks of color pattern paper there um, and lots of little oh, I've kept the same format of the photos all the way through lots of little photos I've grouped them together in blocks of four and two now uh, because I found that was easier to work with than 10 or 20 individual ones um, all mounted on the strips that was quite quite tricky too um, so this is Thursday um, and then <coughs> moving on to Friday oh that says the boring part Friday some days and most days I really liked this prompt so some days we do this but most days we do this um, or most days we do this and some days we do this so that was uh, I quite liked that prompt I try to start off most of my journaling with that not all of them but some of them like for example normally our fruit bowl is really full but on this day we have just one banana remaining nothing else because our shopping deliveries are all um, up the spout at the moment I'm sure everybody's are as well um, so uh, you know I wrote about things like that because I really wanted to document this crazy weird time that we're living in right now um, and uh, this will probably never happen again in our lifetime, hopefully. Um, so <laughs> it is good to um, kind of record those things. And then this was our shopping delivery. Hooray! It's like the most exciting, best part of the week to get a shopping delivery, whereas normally that's really not very interesting. <laughs> okay, so this was Friday's layout, you can see there. Poorly girl. And then Saturday. Saturdays are four. So I write about all the things that we normally do on a Saturday and the ones that we can do or can't do uh, because of um, this pandemic. Um, and this Pretty Life kit came with these journaling cards, the good and the bad. So I've put Theo being lovely and Theo being really naughty. <laughs> um, so, you know, you can make these things work to uh, what situations you've got going on in your life. Uh, Saturday, I didn't, oh, I did put the words, I was, Decide, couldn't decide whether to put the word Saturday on this page or not because I'd already got Saturdays are four so I didn't know whether I needed Saturday too but for uh, in the interest of consistency I've put Saturday there as well. Um, I really love this photo, one of the sky. I don't know how well you can see it. It looks better uh, digitally rather than uh, in the page protector. Um, tell me the facts and I'll learn. Tell me the truth and I'll believe. Tell me a story and it will live in my heart forever. That is obviously uh, from Ali Edwards. Uh, it's an ancient proverb apparently. Um, so that was Saturday. And then Sunday is my final day. Um, and uh, you can see it's I want to remember prompt. Um, so I've got all my photos and I've written again about all the things that I want to remember that I'm doing right now. So it's all about the right now. And then this bit of word out I really love, it's totally okay to have no idea what's next because who knows what's next at the moment. It's, uh, life is a little bit crazy and strange right now. Um, okay, so you can see that I've done my 12 by 12s um, in my normal page protectors and then I've added six by eight page protectors in, the, in between each one for these inserts here. Um, and these six by eight page protectors did not fit in the album. The holes were in the wrong places. Um, so I simply punched an extra hole with my crocodile. So that was the way I got around that. And that way I have this whole project and it will sit, at the moment it's just in a plain album, but it will sit within my other layouts. So when I file my layouts up until the beginning of May, um, then this will just become the next thing that you see. It won't have an album all to itself. Um, it will just be within all of my other layouts. Okay, so that is my week in the life 2020. It's the first time I've done it. I've done December daily for years, but um, this one I have never done. Um, because I do a lot of scrapbooking anyway, I feel like I record a lot of my life um, as it is. So I don't normally feel the need, but in this weird times that we're living in it was really great to get all these little bits and pieces down into my memories uh, so that they can be looked back on and remembered doesn't he look moody so moody there um anyway um okay so um i hope that this inspires you to use that fab digital kit um i say i printed it really easily um if anyone needs a hand with printing format then just let me know and i will tell you exactly how i did everything okay thank you so much for joining me uh, happy scrapping